Are you trying to decide which gimbal to buy for your brand new Sony XZV E10? The DJI RS E2 or the Jun Crane M2? Or will you let Catalyst Browse do all the work? We have you covered. Let's take a Jam Life Tech Adventure. Hi guys, welcome back to Jam Life Tech Talk. I'm John and I have finally uploaded the video I know a few of you have been waiting for. Today we are comparing the DJI Compact RSC2 against the very compact Jun Crane M2. Don't know how many times I've said Jun now, you regulars on the channel know a lot and I still have trouble with it. And I'm also going to throw Catalyst Browse in the mix. I know many of you don't like the idea, just wanted to remind you of how well it works. On the left, we have original footage, no stabilization. On the right, Catalyst Browse stabilization added. For me, it works like magic. I know, I know, gimbal is always best, but man, it is close. If you guys are excited like me for all the new tech that's going to be released over the next couple of months, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and hit the like button. Okay, so we did the testing at Malabar Beach here in Sydney. What you are seeing is a drone flyover of Malabar. The morning started off so sunny and beautiful, but as you will see, turned out a bit overcast which I did not mind too much as I forgot my filters. After I show you the comparisons, I want to come back and tell you what I thought, not only of the side-by-sides, but my experiences in the real world, how easy each was to set up, etc., etc. So enjoy. Okay, so here's the first of the test, that handheld tripod test. Just trying to hold the camera as steady as I can. The RSC2 here is solid as a rock, but it's very close. Okay, and here's a slow pan test. What do you guys think? It is really close. And a fast pan test here, just to see how responsive the motors are on the gimbals. And here's what I like to call the go mode test. And this is with a pan tilt follow on with the motors wound up as fast as they'll go. Okay, and here's the walking test. Look, the DJI RSC2 doing a really great job here. I'll take any of these though. They all perform very, very well. And now for the running test. The Catalyst Browse does shake around a little bit here, but it's still acceptable footage. And here's the walking vlog test. Uh, to vlog with both gimbals, it's a triple press on the trigger and all of these are performing really well. You can see quite a bit of crop creep in here from Catalyst Browse though. And with no stairs around, I did the running up the hill trick, quite uneven ground here as well. Catalyst Browse a little bit shaky, but they're all acceptable again. So what did you guys think of the side-by-sides? One thing that really did surprise me is how close it was. Let me tell you, I think Catalyst Browse would take care of most stabilization for you if you're willing to give it a try. And of course, you don't mind that little bit of crop. With the very compact Crane M2, I was really surprised how well it did up against the Ronin RSC2. I mean, at $199, this is way less than half the price and 
half the size. But for me, I'm going to stay with the DJI RSC2 for this Sony ZV-E10 and here's why. One of the big reasons I'm buying the Sony ZV-E10 is the fact that I can change lenses. And for anything larger than this 10 to 18 millimeter, which is a very small lens, this gimbal will not take the weight. Even with the 10 to 18, it was very fiddly to balance the camera and was extremely frustrating trying to get it right over and over again. But the balance on the RSC2 was a breeze. It's so much faster and I can use many more lenses with the ZV-E10, including some full frame lenses. In terms of being compact, the RSC2 does fold down and I found it fit into the top of my backpack very well without adding overbearing weight. Look guys, don't get me wrong, if you need a compact cost-effective solution and you wanna stay away from heavy lenses, then okay go for the Cranium 2. But for me, I wanna use what this camera does over point and shoots, and that is use different, sometimes heavier lenses. Apart from all that, the gimbal does give better results as you can see by the side-by-sides, and did work straight out of the box with the supplied USB-C cable. Also, I find the companion app to be a bit easier to follow than the Zhun. And with that underslung folding handle, you can get shots from any angle a lot easier. It's also built very well, more metal, less plastic. And the locks on each axis make it so easy to balance. For me, yep, it's worth the extra cost and bulk. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not about to sell my Crane M2. It's a perfect match for the ZV-1. It's a match made in heaven really for the ZV-1. But what did you guys think? Is there a better match for the ZV-E10 than the DJI RSC2? Please let us know about it in the comment section below. We always love to hear from you guys. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and hit the like button. We'll see you on the next Jam Life Tech Adventure.